Okay, we have a Klenergy SPH30 inverter here, and uh, this one's got a bit of a problem. It actually says on the screen here, working mode. I just uh, did say working mode till I press the button. And it's got the power on light to say it's actually operational. The status light isn't on, which is usually a red light if there's a problem. But uh, it says it's working, but it's actually not producing anything. Well, 12 watts, 11 watts, zero watts. So it's pretty much producing very little. This, uh, the solar panels this system's connected to is about 1.5 kilowatts worth. At the moment, it should be producing at least 1,000 watts. So this inverter uh, actually has an issue which is causing it to produce a lot less power than it should. Uh, if your inverter is doing the same thing, then the first thing to check is that there is no shading on your solar panels and there's, uh, there's no issue on the solar panel side and uh, this it, it could actually potentially be a problem with the uh, either the DC isolator or the uh, cables on the solar DC side or it could be a problem on your roof or it could be a problem with your solar inverter so if you're having this problem you'll most likely need to get an accredited solar uh, electrician to come and have a look at your Klenergy inverter and work out what the problem is for you uh, in this case, I know it, the solar power system is working totally fine. So I know it's uh, definitely a problem with the Klenergy inverter here. So one thing you can always try if your inverter is coming up with an error like this is try rebooting it. A bit like your computer. If your computer's got a problem, the first thing I'd recommend is, is try rebooting it and see if it, uh, after the restart, it fixes the problem. So to restart a solar inverter, you always want to make sure you follow the shutdown procedure. Now the shutdown procedure here we've got, which is turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. Now if your solar inverter was installed beside your switchboard, you would have a solar supply main switch in there. You, either way you have a solar supply main switch, but if your inverter is installed a distance from your, your uh, switchboard, you'll have an inverter AC isolator most likely beside the inverter. So we turn off this first turn on there we turn that off and you can actually see on the inverter now it's come up with a red status light it's saying uh, no utility now uh, we follow the instructions again turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter so on the uh, left hand side here we've got the PV ray DC isolator just open that up and flick it off and we'll just leave that a few seconds and let the system uh, shut down and, and drain of all power uh, completely now, your Klenergy solar inverter should have a five-year warranty. Now, the only problem is Klenergy, with their warranty terms, don't really cover any uh, labour to actually get it repaired by anyone. Well, to get um, like the electrician to come and have a look at your inverter, to send it down to uh, Melbourne, I believe, to get it repaired, and then to get it reinstalled afterwards. They they cover the actual repair in the factory but um, not anything to do with the actual uh, sending the inverter away or getting it looked at in the first place so uh, it will be a bit of a cost involved now if your Klenergy inverter is out of warranty so it does come with a five-year warranty if it's out of that warranty uh, then I'd recommend probably replacing it with a good quality model so this in this case here this is an SPH 30 30 stands for 3 kilowatts, 3.0 kilowatts. The common sizes for the Klenergy inverters are SPH 15, 1.5 kilowatt, SPH 20, the 2 kilowatt, and the SPH 30, the 3 kilowatt model. Now if you were trying to get this covered under warranty, we will, one thing that which will be required is a serial number of the inverter, which is actually found in a hard spot right on top. You can actually see it here. This little barcode here is, is the uh, serial number on the inverter and it's also got some information about the different uh, different uh, characteristics of the inverter there as well. So you will require that to get it repaired under warranty. Now in this case we'll just try rebooting the system now that it's had a little water shut down. And it doesn't matter the order turning the system on. It's very important turning it off though. So here we'll turn on the AC and we'll turn back on the DC and we'll see what happens and it will take a couple of minutes just to start up as well so it says at the moment output power op power in wattage is zero watts at the moment and it's running down for a, a startup procedure testing the inverter at 53 seconds there 
So look, if your Clemagy inverter is out of warranty, look, the best thing to do, rather than get it repaired, is replace it with a good quality replacement inverter. One which is going to have a full warranty and uh, last you for many years and uh, provide you many years of trouble-free service and operation. If it is under warranty still and you're looking at getting repaired, well, you're, you're going to have some money out of pocket because Clinergy don't cover any uh, labour for anyone coming to actually repair it or reinstall it for you, rather than other than the uh, repairs actually in the factory. So we're hearing some relays tick in there, click in, and uh, this time it's uh, going through the startup procedure again. It's uh, it's going through the testing again. So this time it actually hasn't come on the power on light again. So we're looking like this is a serious issue here. And in this case, the inverter is no longer under warranty, so we are going to replace it for the customer with a good quality replacement unit. Now, so if your Clinergy inverter is having problems and you've, you've uh, gone through the, uh, the shutdown procedure and the uh, different uh, steps that we've recommended and you're still having issues, well, look, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can help you. Um, so if you'd like to get in contact with us, our uh, details will be on this on this video. Now we'll just see here, it's just uh, gone down to uh, seven seconds there, so we'll see what happens here. One second, zero second. Oh, it's gone to working mode again this time. But we've still got, even though it's in working mode, the, the power being outputted by the system, is, oh, there we go. We've got an islanding fault now. So look, this is definitely an issue with the solar inverter, so it's going to need to be replaced. Look, I hope this has been helpful for you, and uh, don't hesitate to call Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions for more assistance. Thank you.